My name is Mark Jelliff. I'm an uh, emergency department consultant here at Royal Cornwall Hospital. We're going to uh, just tell you a little bit about why we think llamas have been uh, a boon to us in the emergency department. Uh, one of the frustrations that we've had over years has been to uh, have samples rejected from the blood transfusion service. We uh, have to take a second sample, that delays things for the patient, it means that my staff have to uh, do further sampling which takes them time, uh, ties them up as well. And uh, the, the frustration for the blood transfusion service, the frustration for us, the frustration for the patient is all very, very tangible. Uh, and in these days of four hour turnarounds in the emergency department, when time is absolutely everything, uh, we just can't afford that kind of time uh, wasting. So Llama's there to help us get it right first time. We've found that that's, really wor that's working well. Uh, if we can use the Llama for the first uh, specimen that we take from a patient, uh, and we will not get it rejected. We haven't had any problems at all with rejection for our Llama samples. They've really been on top class. We think that's, like, that's got to be a good idea. Uh, we've heard about the alternatives, taking two samples, matching them together. Again, that makes it difficult for the emergency department to comply. So the Llama idea, once, get it right first time. We love that. And so we're right behind this project. The LAMA application supports the 2012 short recommendations that correct and positive patient identification at every step remains absolutely essential and is the responsibility of every member of staff. Hospitals, trust boards should review their identification procedures to ensure that patients are safely identified throughout their hospital journey. All UK patient safety programmes should take an identification agenda forward as part of patient-centred care. Hello, uh, my name is Richard Noble. I'm the Clinical Head of Transfusion for Royal Cornwall Hospitals Trust. Um, there's been in place for about two years a recommendation that for taking a cross-match sample, uh, two separate specimens should be supplied, separated either in time by at least 30 minutes or taken by separate clinicians. And the idea of this is to ensure that the blood group is correct and that uh, there hasn't been any error in taking either one of the two specimens from the wrong patient. Um, we haven't implemented that in Royal Cornwall Hospital because we're not confident that it contributes to patient safety. Uh, principally because uh, we can't police or check that the two samples have been taken separately in time or by two separate clinicians. Uh, and there's every opportunity for subversion for busy clinicians who want to get on with something else. So our transfusion team have developed the, the app locally because the national recommendation says that where a cross-match specimen is taken by an electronic method that can absolutely be sure of the patient's identify, identity, then a second specimen isn't required. Uh, so this is good for the clinicians, they have to spend less time taking the specimen, uh, and it's good for us because we can be absolutely certain that an uh, individual cross match specimen came from that patient and from nobody else. Before LAMA was introduced, taking um, blood samples for blood transfusion was very difficult. We used to have to try and hand write at bedside, which in emergency situations sometimes became a bit fraught and very difficult to write that down near the patient. Um, now LAMA's been introduced, it's quicker, safer and much more effective for patient care. Um, it's a lightweight handheld computer where we can stay at the patient bedside, scan their wristband and label the blood successfully before sending it off to the lab. So this is the kit that we use for Llama. We have a zebra printer and an iPod touch. Now these are connected via Bluetooth which means that they do not require a Wi-Fi connection. This means that they are a standalone device and therefore if there are any network issues it will not affect Llama. I've been particularly impressed with how Team Llama embraced and executed testing throughout the Llama project lifecycle. They understood the criticality of assuring that the software and hardware was fit for purpose and worked through a raft of scenarios proving that the application could not be broken and that it also worked to their requirements. This is even more impressive as Llama is not an off-the-shelf product so an entirely new test suite had to be designed and executed. The team took on board advice and utilised it to deliver a first-rate application and hardware solution. As a result of the diligence of the test team, Llama is both clinically safe and simple to use, which is paramount to clinical staff working in a highly pressurised environment. Our long-term aim 
with the technology that we've used within Llama is to ensure that our patients are adequately identified via their wristbands at every relevant treatment stage. Companies coming in showing us clinical systems have suggested that the iPod Touch, the fifth generation that we are using, is unable to scan barcodes because the camera is not good enough. We know for a fact that this isn't the case because we're using it with Llama. a medium sized emergency department um, in a teaching hospital. Um, we see somewhere between 60 and 70,000 patients per year. Um, the LAMA has been fantastic for us. Um, what we really have noticed is that um, with regards to patient safety, um, we have far fewer uh, rejections of blood samples going to the lab. Um, and we know that the, the samples are done on the right patients. One of the things we have found is that in uh, emergency situations, where we need um, patients identified rapidly, um, we found it invaluable in order to get blood and blood products for these patients uh, urgently, particularly in cases of major trauma. Whenever we do reject a sample, we then have to find where the patient is, who's going to take a new sample from them, and that's not as easy as it might seem. Um, you phone up a ward, the patient's been moved, or you phone up a ward and they say, yes, we'll take the message and we'll pass it on, and an hour later the doctor's chasing where their results are or where their blood is. So I find Lama brilliant because we're getting a lot less rejections. The reason that I have loved every second of working with Lama is not only the patient benefits, that's fantastic and that was our end goal and we've achieved that, but for me it's been the feedback and um, the communication that I've had with the clinical staff on the shop floor. So you've got the added benefits of actually using Llama has actually helped improve standards throughout the whole of the blood taking process that we found on maternity. No, I think Llama's great. The risk of error is a lot less as a result of Llama. We all love a good Llama. We all love Llama. <laughs> I can't remember how it was before we had Llama in the emergency department. Everything's just so much quicker and easier now.